the humidity is definitely getting to my camera. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ultimately, thank you so much for gracing your presence on my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about therapeutic ways that can help you get through life a little bit easier starting with therapy. So the two main reasons I feel therapy is helpful is because it helps you resolve your own dilemma and it answers questions that you never even thought were there. By this I mean when you talk to your friends or you talk to your mom or your dad or your sibling on a day-to-day -day basis, sometimes they aren't as helpful as they may seem. Or sometimes they're the trigger to our emotions that get us started up anyway. So it's sometimes it can be hard to talk to them and get through to them to help them understand what we're going through talking to someone else or talking to a professional stranger as I like to call it helps you understand your emotions and understand why uh, you go through what you go through um, a lot of times of course it's anxiety it's the pressure of wanting to be so great at everything that we do wanting to be successful wanting just to cherish life the best way that we can but sometimes we have to stop and realize that, you know, we can't do everything at once. We have to take it day by day and understand, you know, the process. Talking to a stranger or a professional stranger, as I like to call it, because sometimes people say, oh, well, I don't like talking to a stranger about my problems. I don't feel like other people should know my business. You know how they say what stays in the household should always remain in the household? Well, when you're going through tragic situations, such as, you know, a shooting or um, a terrible um, hurricane or, you know, unspoken tragic situations that go, that young people deal with every single day um, that I have experienced myself, it's hard to just keep those things to yourself. It's hard to just keep those things inside of the family because parts of the time we have family members that contribute to those tragic situations or if we don't have the family members we have those friends or those relationships that really um, get us geared up and you know fired up and you know so anxious about everything that's going on that we don't know where to turn first thing you need to turn to yourself you need to turn to the mirror you need to turn to whoever you believe in but mostly yourself because you're the one that's going through these emotions. You're this spirit that's going through this human experience. So once you turn to yourself and realize, hey, I'm going through something. Hey, there is a problem surfacing here. I need to talk about it. And I don't feel that you should be. You should have to get permission to talk to someone about it. Um, of course, it always stirs up trouble if you just go outside the family and start spilling your business, depending on how old you are. Now, if you're an adult, of course, that's different. But if you're a teenager, of course, you want to kind of ease on through talking to your parents about you know what you're going through and saying that hey maybe I do need to seek outside help just because I feel that I'm not getting my answers at home but when you're an adult it's even harder to um, bring those questions to recognition and um, reconciling those questions because they come in abundance we we're experiencing life in an abundance and it's hard for us to just break things down one by one so when seeing a therapist as I've experienced they don't ask you those typical questions of well how do you feel about this tragic situation no 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 it's more so of how do you think what what were you going through what were you experiencing what were your what was your emotion like what was your reaction how has your character changed what have you become because of it very deep intellectual questions that they ask because they're trying to dive deeper into a center that you've kept hidden or buried or sometimes didn't even know was there. But it's never a pressure or um, any pressure when you're in therapy because it's all about you and what you can handle. And if you can't handle a lot of questions, if it's too much, if you're tearing up, wait, if you're bawling, you know, and you can't handle it, everything will stop. Therapy is not meant to abrupt your spirit. Um, it's not meant to cause any harm or any confusion to 
what you are thinking about or what you go through. It's just meant to help resolve or help silence those thoughts just a little bit more so that way you can feel better. Um, and it's and when I say silence, I kind of use the wrong word. I I want to say in a better phrase, it's they heal. You're when you're in when you're in um, therapy, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions are healing. Um, it's just like having that scab, that wound that you've put a band-aid over, yet when you tear it off, you still see that mucus that's coming out. I know that's a bit much, but I'm just giving you an example of how we cover things and don't deal with them. And then all of a sudden, we're hurting all over, and that pain has spread, and now we don't know where it started. So, I'm telling you, therapy, I am not this wise just because of anything. I am wise because I've experienced therapy, I've been in sessions, I go to sessions, I've experienced life just as much as you have, So, and I've learned from it is the, is the key thing. If you're not learning from it, then you don't know how to process it properly. So when it comes to silencing those thoughts, some thoughts need to be silenced. Some thoughts need to be, sometimes you need to have that astound mind as it um, relates. Because your thoughts can be so vividly and so loud that it controls your everyday words. It controls your character. It controls your spirit, your soul, your body, your mind. I mean, everything that just goes, that deals with the perception of you, it controls. When you're in therapy, you're able to heal through the process so that way those thoughts can become silenced. You can't have an astound mind. You can't have a beautiful spirit. You can't have a beautiful life. No life is a wrong life. No way to live is wrong. But as long as it's for you. And that's what you learn through therapy. You know, they don't try to change you. They don't try to fix you. They don't say, oh, you're doing this wrong. They just decide what you want. You know, if you feel like this is wrong, they say, okay, well, how can we fix it to make it right? A lot of, a lot of things that go on in therapy that, you know, it's just so great to experience because... It gets you to take a break, settle down, calm down, and realize you can't do it by yourself. If you're going through life by yourself, anyway, you can't do it by yourself. Not all the time. And even the strong need help. And just because you feel weak doesn't mean you are weak. We're here to help each other. And this video is not to persuade you one way or another to go to therapy, to, you know, not go to therapy. This is just a very informative video to say that there are resources out there for you. And if you're thinking, well, therapy costs an arm and leg. Actually, therapy can cost as little to zero dollars depending on your insurance, whether you have it or not. So think about that again next time you're going through something and you're looking in that mirror and you're saying, hey, life is getting tough. You know, I, I need to seek professional help. You know, and it's okay to say that. Because again... We all are hitting, we are going through life at different perspectives. Life is hitting us at different angles. And sometimes it's hard, it's a hard pill to swallow. But if we can break it up into pieces and understand, you know, what it is that is being fed to us, then we can have a healthy meal. You know, we can have that healthy life. We can have that healthy mind. We can have that healthy perspective. And we can go through life just a little bit easier. So... This has been a time of Treehouse Talks in a different location. I hope this has helped. I hope this has helped you in some way. And if you feel that it's helped you, go ahead and share this video to someone else that you feel like it will help. Like this video if you really like this type of content, this really type of informative information. And please don't forget to subscribe because if we're not helping each other, we're depleting our human race. There's always, there's, there's always somebody out there that needs our help. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video.